Just hold on, okay? Just when she comes back, sign it, and we're gonna be done. We just we need this, okay? Please. Okay. The voices. The voices aren't real. Caucasian woman, status post-respiratory arrest in the field, intubated, oxygenating poorly. Dr. Gregory House, please call Dr. Cuddy at extension 3731. This is a good hospital? Depends what you mean by good. I like these chairs. How is she? Stable. Okay. Uh, your mom had a small pulmonary embolism. Blood clot that got stuck in her lungs. Blocked the oxygen. But the pain started in her leg. Where the clot started, her calf. That's called a deep vein thrombosis. Basically a bigger clot. It never hurt there before. I would have noticed. A piece of that broke off, went up the vein, through her heart, and blocked the blood flow to her lungs. No blood flow, no oxygen. Okay. Is your dad here? I have some things I need to talk to him about. Uh, my dad's running a little late. He's dead. Just talk to me. I take care of her. All right. Your mom's blood alcohol was 0.12, 10.30 in the morning. I gave it to her. Two ounces of vodka it cools her out. But that's the first since Monday. That was three days ago. I've been real careful. She hears voices. She's schizophrenic. Explains the DVT. The alcohol makes her pass out. She's immobile for long periods of time. That doesn't happen. She's not an alcoholic. She only drinks when you give it to her. We put her on blood thinners. You can probably take her home tomorrow. It's not the alcohol. It's got to be something else. Of course it's the alcohol. Hello. This guy's a professional doctor. Plays golf and everything, I bet. He's not going to tell you your mom's an alcoholic without proof. I'm sure he scoped the varices, checked her esophagus, ran all kinds of blood tests. Doctors like this to, they don't make assumptions. They do the work. I'd be happy to refer you the case, Dr. House. You seem so interested. What case? It's over. I'm sending her home. How old is she? You're a doctor? On my own stethoscope. Did I ask you how old she was? I forget. A 38-year-old woman with no previous symptoms or history presents with deep vein thrombosis. How did she get it? Oral contraceptives, smoking, diabetes, obesity, and what's the point here? A DVT is a DVT. Put on IV heparin to prevent future clots in it. What's the big mystery? Fine. You're all sleepy. You need a clue. She's 38 years old. She's 20 years too young to get a deep vein thrombosis. I treated a 12-year-old girl once, a soccer player. She got kicked in the leg. There was no trauma, none of the risk factors. You took a history. I have some notes. They're not mine, but reliable, I think, for the purposes of this discussion. As for the immobility, well, she's real active right now, of course. Paranoia keeps her limber. Paranoia? Oh, yeah. She's schizophrenic. And her kid wrote this so it might be a little biased. You know, having to take care of his nutso mom and all. You think there's a connection? Do we include schizophrenia in the differential for DVT? Well, the answer is no. Abnormal dopaminergic pathways in the brain do not cause blood clots. Schizophrenia is not the cause of DVT. On the other. Mom, this is Dr. Greg Gregory House. Nice to meet you. It'd be all right if we spoke alone for a while. Oh. Well, uh, you're gonna need me to... I got your case notes, doctor. There's a cafeteria downstairs. Get yourself whatever you want, as long as there's enough left over for a Reuben sandwich, dry, no fries, hold the pickles. Should run you about 580 with tax. I'll page you when we're done. No. Pickles. Nice kid. How much do you really drink? He's really talking to a patient? 
I don't know who I am anymore. It's a blood clot. What's so fascinating about that? He likes crazy people. Likes the way they think. They think badly. That's the definition of crazy. Why would he like? They're not boring. He likes that. And the meds? Baseball. I like baseball. Very nice. Very sad. My boy and me, we went to see a game. Not Mets. Meds. Medicine. You take what he tells you to take. No one believes me. I do. I thought he liked rationality. He likes puzzles. Patience of puzzles? You don't think so? I think they're people. Yeah, well, he hates them, and he's fascinated by them. Tell me you can't relate to that sentiment. told Luke it never hurt before. Just rough. They didn't hurt. Didn't. Don't lie to him, Limpy. Lively Lucy never lies to Lucas. Look what I do to him. 